and can we also please have on stage Shri Sham Sundar Agarwal ji, Shrimati Sonia Parashar, Shri Hari Dadu, Shri R.K. Malhotra, Shri R.K. Varma, Shri Anil Malhotra, Shri Rajiv Sachdeva, Chef Devinder Singh, Shri Nirmal Khandelwal, Shri Amarjeet Ahuja, and Chef Manjeet Gill. All of you requested to kindly please be seated on the dais. Shri Mayan from Watergen, kindly join us on stage. Honorable Chief Guest, Shri B.B. Swain, Secretary, Ministry of MSME, Government of India. Distinguished dignitaries on the days and uh, esteemed members of the audience. On behalf of India Expo Center and Mart, I extend a very warm and hearty welcome to all of you to the inauguration ceremony of India International Hospitality Expo 2022. The show, a veritable sourcing hub for hospitality and FNB, covers the whole spectrum of the industry. In just its fifth year, it has earned widespread acclaim in the hospitality milieu and is reckoned as one of the largest B2B shows in this category. To begin with, we'd like to request Honorable Chief Guest and all the distinguished dignitaries on the days to kindly light the ceremonial lamp and inaugurate the inaugural ceremony. We would now like to accord a floral welcome to Honorable Chief Guest. I request Sri Rakesh Kumarji, Chairman IEML, to present a bouquet to him and welcome him.
I request Shri Hari Dadu, President Fair, to welcome Shri R K Malhotra, Chairman EPCH. We have with us uh, Shrimati Sonia Parashar. I request uh, Shri Ajay Khanna to kindly present bouquet to him, bouquet to her. She is President IEIA, MD of Messe Nuremberg, and DDG of Indo-German Chamber of Commerce. Shrimati Sonia Parashar, being welcomed by Shri Ajay Khanna. I request Sri Ravi Pasiji to kindly join us on stage to welcome Secretary Sri B.B. Swaiji. Former Chairman EPCH Sri Ravi Pasiji welcoming the Chief Guest. Thank you so much. And now I request Sri Rakesh Kumarji, Chairman IEML and DG EPCH, to present his welcome address. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining. Honorable Chief Guest. Shri B.B. Swain, sir, Secretary, Government of India, Ministry of MSME, dignitaries on the dais, our stalwarts of the industry on the dais and off the dais, Shri Rajkumar Malotraji, Chairman, Export Promotion Council for Handicraft, Shri Rajiv Sadevaji, President Archies, our old starward, and we very fondly introduce him and his company, which is established in 1840. And I was just guessing that how many companies are more than 100 years in this country. Rather, we should have a program along with Sir Ministry of MSME in this Amrit Kaal Mahotsav, in this Amrit Vila, that company, those are more than 100 years, they should be uh, recognized for their uh, being in the business for such a long period. And I think big clap to all the company, Khandelwalji's and everybody who is present here. Our great friend, Chef Gill, our great supporter, and the ED of Export Promotion Council for Handicraft, Shri R.K. Varmaji, the man behind a lot of hard work, Shri Hari Daduji, President of IHE. A very massive program on culinary being organized here, which is Sir ICF, India Culinary Forum, and all young chefs are present here from the country. Rather, they wait for this day and being organized by the ICF, President ICF, Chef D. Kumarji. We fondly call him Chef DK. All of us know that very old uh, sweet and sour, sweet and namkeen people in the industry, Bikaner, Shyam Sundar Agarwalji, thank you for joining us. Lot of people in the India is a now a land of opportunities and everybody can see that this is now the time if any organization enter in India, they can really find a lot of business opportunities here and with that, with that uh, 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 thing in the mind, uh, we have a person on the dais from the Israeli origin, Mr. Mullah. He is the CEO of a company called Watergen. And in this exhibition, he is participating, which is producing 
water from air. People used to say if the next world war will happen, that would be on the water. So I think he is going to solve that. He is going to give that solution. Thank you, Mr. Mula, bringing that technology here in the center and being with us. Our exhibition industry has very uh, different subject and many different organization. The hem of the affair, at the hem of the affair, we have a lady, and lady uh, Sonia Prashar ji is present today. Sonia ji is the president of Indian Exhibition Industry Association. She is also deputy director general of the Indo-German Chamber of Commerce and the MD of the Nuremberg Messe. Thank you, Sonia ji, for joining us, and she is also additionally our brand ambassador of IML. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. Uh, Anil Balotra ji, our hotter my president, the association that brings a lot of equipment people, they promote them. Uh, Amar ji, Tauja ji, everybody is waiting for him and also our HPM friend. So uh, all, of, all of us are waiting for PPFI uh, would come and they will definitely what will celebrate with that. And the, uh, we also have with us Mr. Bharti. Uh, director uh, MSME, uh, he is also present with us. Uh, Marci Pao uh, has joined. Uh, please, please join us on stage. Marci ji, please. Please come here. Good work. And here, 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 here. Marci. You have a chair roll. Ah, so, uh, Marci is the joint secretary in the uh, Ministry of MSME. Uh, in fact, she has seen this fair, how it has been developed over the period and this fair has helped the uh, entrepreneur not the large one only but also the small entrepreneur who are the small producer from the remote part of the country and really making it uh, local for global happening and uh, that is the one msme is helping us and thank you mercy ji thank you secretary sir and thank you mr bharti for this help that is being provided by all of you uh, we also have with us our ceo of the entire uh, IML, the person, uh, a very dynamic person. I really, I can find that uh, somebody who, uh, who can really uh, give a challenge to any exhibition center or any other uh, area. So he is the one who is uh, very well popular uh, among us, uh, everybody in the country, uh, uh, in the exhibition sector. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, we also have our team, Niranjan, Amrinder, uh, Radhika, Tejander Singh, and many all of you know the basis. Besides that, many other dignitaries whom we have not accommodated on the dais, but they are always with us, uh, uh, and they are here. They are from the uh, 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 from the from the industry as well as uh, they are uh, from the media. So thanks for joining with us, friends. Uh, friends, as we are now ready for the opening of the uh, IHE 2022. Uh, today, I am happy to state that this will be our fifth show since we launched IHE in 2018. Our objective was to establish a one-of-a-kind interactive platform for the producers and vendors of goods and services relevant to the food service and hospitality sectors. Uh, I am quite sure that we have been able to deliver on that aspect. The moment you enter here and then you see there is a different vibration in the entire show. The hospitality sector predominantly represents the small and medium entrepreneur of the country and the support provided by the Ministry of MSME towards organization of this fair has been commendable. Thanks for that. Uh, and thanks to our secretary, Shri B.B. Swain, sir, uh, who has been always supported the MSME sector uh, through his wide and varied experience of over 30 years in various departments, including a very long stint in the Ministry of Commerce and Industry and clearly understand the mantra of the commerce with compassion. Thanks for that, sir. You always, uh, always help the industry, even when you are in the commerce. Uh, his approach has been very pragmatic towards promotion of the SMEs in the country, and his leadership has proved impetus to this very important segment of the Indian economy, thereby leading growth in this segment. His presence today will not only boost the morale, of all exhibitors, stakeholders, but also encourage them to give their best in the years to come, thereby adding to the growth in the MSME sector. We welcome you, sir. We also have with us uh, Madam uh, Marcy uh, Ipao, Joint Secretary MSME, who has always been supported us 
uh, in all our endeavor of providing marketing opportunities to the MSMEs. Special focus has been given to the northeastern state this time and the Himalayan states, sir, wherein a lot of the food products are available. And uh, uh, most important is that these food products are actually that goes with the requirement of the world today. Everywhere the buzzword is the sustainable. The buzzword is the organic. And if you really see, the organic actually is coming from Himalayan region. And the Himalayan region is meant for that the producers, even at their home, they are using this organic and the sustainable. And in this uh, fair, we have been able to uh, bring many of them over here. Uh, and I'm quite sure that a uh, uh, lot of uh, visitors, a lot of uh, buyer will take the full advantage of their being here and also increase them. Sir, our vision is to bridge the uh, gap between the MSME players and their customers in the hotels, resort and restaurant. In my humble view, we have been successful on both counts. We did not stop even when the shadow of the COVID uh, tragically loomed over the country. And today, this exhibition, when I say fifth, physically this is the third exhibition, whereas the two exhibitions we had organized even during the COVID as a virtual show. And the virtual shows were also as successful as the physical. But that was also the requirement because we kept the people as a connect with their producers and the suppliers. So that is the most important. We have done that uh, with our successful uh, additions behind it, including one that the 100% virtual. We are here today with the physical. IH is a platform tailor-made for small and medium entrepreneur and it has been recognized as much by the MSME ministry as well as the Ministry of Tourism and one uh, ODOP also, uh, that is the one district, one product. ODOP program of the government of UP, they have also uh, approved this program. It has also been approved by the NSIC, National Small Industry Corporation and the Export Promotion Council for Handicraft. They are all supporter to this uh, IHE platform. IHE is much more than an exhibition. It is also a knowledge fest for the professionals engaged in the food and hospitality sector. This is evident in the vibrant concurrent program that has been designed for the event. It consists of a four-day conclave for the food service and hospitality sector, industry forums for design, IT, and housekeeping, six culinary master classes presented by the leading chefs of the country and the competitions for the young chefs and housekeepers are also being organized here. IHE in short offers something to everyone from students of hotel management and the culinary arts to professionals in the F&B front office. Uh, housekeeping, kitchen management, purchase and engineering departments of the hotels all the way up to owners and the operators of standalone restaurants as well as QSR chains. Not surprisingly, IHC 22 is being supported by a leading professional organization in the hospitality and food service space, including the Indian Culinary Forum, PPFI Purchasing Professional Forum India, Hospitality Purchasing Manager Forum, HPMF, Professional Housekeepers Association, PHA, Hotel and Restaurant Equipment Manufacturer Association of India, Hotramai, the daily chapter of the women's Indian chambers of the commerce and industry, WICCI, and the Institute of the Indian Interior Designers, Triple ID, with such unstinted support, we can only look confidently towards August 3. Let me invite you all to come for the show, not once, but all on the four days. It will be open from today and will remain till 6th. I assure you that you will take back great learning and the happy memories in this show and uh, once again i thank all of you being with us particularly our friends our sanjay ji our uh, majan ji uh, our gupta ji and uh, ajay khanna ji khullar saab and all of you who have really supported this event uh, from heart and soul both and your actions too thank you very much The beacon light, the guiding star of uh, EPCH and IEML, who drives everyone with his energy, with his dynamism, Sri Rakesh Kumarji.
individually welcoming all the distinguished dignitaries on the dais and also industry at large. Thank you so much for the wonderful welcome address. We are beholden to the Ministry of MSME for all their support and contribution in organizing uh, this expo. And particularly, we are thankful and express our gratitude to Secretary and Joint Secretary for their uh, personal interest in this. Uh, thank you so much. And I now request our uh, Chief Guest, Secretary Sri B.B. Swine, to please deliver his address. Respected <coughs> Rakesh Kumar ji, my colleague, Madam Marcy Ipao, Sri Sudip Sarkar ji, Sri Mayan Mulla ji, Sri Sam Sundar Agarwal ji, Madam Soma Parasar, Sri Hari Dadu ji, Sri Alke Malhotra ji, Sri R.K. Burma ji, Sri Anil Malhotra ji, Sri Rajiv Sasdeva, Sri Devinder Kumar ji, Sri Nirmal Khandelwal ji, Sri Gil ji, Sri Amarjit Ahuja ji, and dignitaries present here, ladies and gentlemen. I'll start off with the suggestion of Rakesh Kumar, Rakesh Kumar ji regarding organizing a special occasion for those which are 100 years plus. I suggest we start with your industry. We can start right here because we will not really get a greater repository of knowledge than the people who are on this stage. And uh, we would be very happy to organize a similar kind of a thing. Maybe make it for different kind of industries because we understand the learning proposition which is involved in the project which you have suggested and we will definitely take it up. My only suggestion is please help us out in organizing such a thing. <coughs> Dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to participate in the inaugural ceremony of India International Hospitality Expo 2022. I understand that IIHE is a trade show in a very important field of hospitality. Okay. Hospitality, food and food services. This is the fifth edition bringing together 800 exhibitors and 20,000 B2B buyers. My congratulations to the organizers for the wonderful initiative that they have taken in connecting MSMEs with all the stakeholders. The sectors which are being showcased are all very important for MSMEs Development of this sector leads to further employment generation and that is something that the government of India has been focusing on, especially in the post-pandemic era. I am pleased to say with you that within two years of the adoption of the new definition of MSMEs and the subsequent launch of Udyam portal, yesterday we achieved a landmark of 1 crore registration which is quite, a, <coughs> quite an achievement for us. We take this opportunity of requesting further enterprises to register on our portal. It definitely helps them, the formulation definitely helps them in the long run, in <coughs> credit flow and many other factors. I went through the data which is Udyam registration data as in today. You will be pleased to note that out of 1 crore registration which has taken place, 19.62 lakh belong to this industry, which basically means about 20% of our uh, area, the people who have registered actually belong to hospitality, food and food sector. Only from the registered data, it is giving 1.48 crore employment. This is not a complete data, this is only of those which have registered. So one can imagine how many people are actually dependent for their livelihood on this extremely important sector. Another data I would like to share with you that out of 1.48 crore, 13 lakhs, ma'am, you will be surprised to know our women. So, which is actually much, much higher than our normal percent. Our normal percentage registration source is about 18 percent. Here I can see it is about 25 percent. Which means this is a sector which not only provides exceptional employment opportunities, this also gives to the women excellent opportunity in employment. The COVID-19 pandemic posed many challenges for all of us, especially in the MSME sector. The government took a number of initiatives to help the MSMEs to successfully tide over the situation. 
today's event underscores the importance of marketing, trade fairs, exhibitions, and availability of platforms for buyers and sellers to meet. A large number of stakeholders are present here today. Each stakeholder has an important role to play in the development of the MSME sector. I am glad that our ministry is involved in this event through its PMS scheme and SCST hub scheme. I am glad <coughs> that our involvement has been appreciated and we promise that we will always be involved in such important activities of a very significant sector. The success of ministry's programs and schemes depends on active participation of all stakeholders and I am confident that you will agree with me that a suitably enabled environment is possible only if all stakeholders work together towards a common goal. I wish all the stakeholders the very best. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, sir, for your very encouraging words. And now I may request uh, Honorable Chief Guest to release the fair booklet. So let's now also perform the ribbon cutting ceremony. I request all of you to please uh, remain here. We have a ribbon cutting ceremony now. I request uh, our chief guest. Uh, I think Mr. Nagarale from HPMF has joined. May I request him to please join us on the dais? Nagarale ji. Is he here? Thank you so much. With that, we inaugurate the fifth IHE. And now, we have a very special award today. It's called Distinguished Appreciation Award. And it's being given to Sri R.K. Varmaji, Executive Director, EPCH. We would like to acknowledge the contribution of uh, Sri R.K. Varmaji for not only this fair but also for consistently delivering in all the past four fairs. He has been responsible for valuable participation of uh, various ministries, development commissions, states of Northeast and of course handicraft products for the hospitality sector. So a special distinguished Appreciation Award for Sri R.K. Varmaji. Let's hear it for him, for all his endeavors, for all his efforts. And now, before uh, leaving, before concluding this ceremony, I would request Sri Sudeep Sarkar, CEO of IEML, to present a memento to our uh, chief guest. Shri B.B. Swainji, Secretary, MSME. A memento for our chief guest. A memento for uh, Ms. Mercier Pau, Joint Director, by Sri Vipul Jain. Sri Vipul Jain to kindly come on stage and present a memento to Ms. Mercier Pau. Sri Niranjan to kindly come on stage to present a memento to Ms. Sonia Parashar. Sri Niranjan to present a memento to 
Shumati Sonia Parashar. We have a memento for uh, Shri Mayan Mullah, CEO of uh, Watergen India. I request uh, Shri Amritinder Singh to kindly come on stage to do the honors. We have a memento for Shri Sham Sundar Agarwalji, MD Bikanerwala Foods. I request Mehta ji to kindly come on stage for doing the honors. Can I request uh, Hari Dadu ji to present a memento to him? A memento for Sri R. K. Malhotra ji, Chairman EPCH. I request uh, Niranjan ji again to come on stage to do the honors. Shri Tejender Singh to kindly come on stage to present a memento to Shri R.K. Varma ji. Actually, let's give it to Shri Anil Malhotra ji. Since we had uh, a special award for uh, Varma ji, let's welcome Shri Anil Malhotra ji, President Hotramai. A memento for Shri Rajiv Sachdeva, President Archie, by Shri Tejinder Singh. Shri Rajiv Sachdeva is the President of Archie. I request Radhika to present a memento to Chef. Devinder Kumar, Vice President, Food Production, Le Meridian. Shri Rajesh Chaudhary to present a memento to Shri Nirmal Khandelwalji, MD of FCML. May I request Shri Sanjay Anand to kindly come on stage to present a memento to Shri Amarjit Ahuja, founder president of PPFI. Shri Arun Mittal to kindly come on stage to present a memento to Chef Manjeet Gill, founder ICFA. Shri Ish Madan to present a memento to Shri R.K. Varma ji. We have a memento for Shri Varma ji. A memento for uh, Shri Nitin Nagarale. I request uh, Rakesh ji to present a memento to him.
May I now request Sri Hari Dadu, President Fair, to propose vote of thanks. मित्रों नमस्कार मंच पर उपस्थित हमारे चीफ गेस्ट श्री बी वी स्वैन साहब एम एस एम ई जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी मैडम मर्सी जी मंच पर उपस्थित सभी सम्मानित हमारे अतिथिगण हमारे सभी एग्जिबिटर्स रिटर्स मीडिया कर्मचारी मीडिया के लोग और सभी हमारी आई टीम मैं सबका बहुत बहुत आभारी हूं जो इस शो के सफलता के लिए हमारे स्तंभ हैं सबसे पहले मैं सबसे पहले मैं आभार व्यक्त करूंगा हमारे चेयरमैन श्री राकेश कुमार जी का जिनके मार्गदर्शन में कठिन परिस्थितियों में भी हम लोग शो को आगे बढ़ा रहे आगे बढ़ा रहे हैं और सारी आई टीम का जिन्होंने तीन महीने की अथक मेहनत के साथ इस शो को आगे बढ़ाया है और आप सब नतीजा देख रहे हैं शो पूरी सफलता के साथ दिखाई दे रहा है साथ में जितने हमारे एग्जीबिटर्स हैं सबका मैं आभार व्यक्त करता हूं जिन्होंने हम पर पूरा अपना विश्वास दिया विश्वास जमाया कि शो सफलता के साथ होगा और सब लोगों ने हमको कंट्रीब्यूट किया जितने हमारे विजिटर्स हैं मैं उन सबका भी आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ अपने कीमती समय से समय निकाल कर शो को आते हैं शो की शोभा बढ़ाते हैं और अपना बिजनेस को एक्सप्लोर करते हैं इन सभी बातों के साथ मैं आई टीम का दोबारा से अभिनंदन करता हूं, आभार व्यक्त करता हूं कि बहुत मेहनत के साथ इस शो को खड़ा किया है आप सबका पुनः धन्यवाद धन्यवाद सब थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच वी वंस अगेन थैंक आर डिस्टिंग डेग्नेटरीज ऑन द डेज एंड ऑल ऑफ यू please uh, visit the fair enjoy it make the most of it and uh, thank you so much join us for tea now this is the biggest india's state of the art expo center and mart and it is hosting this beautiful show so please visit the show <laughs>